Hey kids and welcome back to Plantation Bay. Uh, I have some bad news for you guys, and I have some good news. Uh, so I'm going to start with the uh, with the bad news. Actually, I recorded a video in this region where I I did a bit of building, and I forgot to activate the video on my recorder. So <laughs> I'm afraid I lost uh, I lost a bit of what I did, and I'm going to just show you guys what I did because, of course, in this game. You know, when you save, it's kind of final. Uh, I don't back up this region every time before I make a video, which maybe I should, but it would—it's just—it would just be kind of a tedious process. Uh, on uh, the good news is that most of what I did was actually not all that fun to watch. I, I kind of feel like I can—I can, you know, I've—I've I've expanded the city a little bit and kind of built some new infrastructure, but it was actually kind of tricky to do. And so, the good news is I, I got some tedious stuff over that might have not been fun to watch, and uh, I will be able to show you some of the more fun stuff in um, in this video and I'll show you what I did uh, in just a second I just want to give you uh, more good news and that is that I have a uh, tutorial for SimCity 4 that I've just put up I've got three episodes up and a fourth and probably final episode or final for now anyway episode is gonna go up soon uh, I walk through the basics of like how to start a city the most important things to do when you first start your city how to make your city more desirable and give give services and I, I just put up a huge hour and a half episode on transportation uh, it's a very long episode but uh, I put um, I put uh, links in the description, uh, what do you call them, timestamps in the description, to various topics. So if you are a beginner SimCity 4 player, or maybe you're a player who has been playing for a while, but there's some aspects of the game that you've maybe never understood, or you want to just brush up on things you may have forgotten, uh, it will be, uh, could be fun for you guys to check out. So um, please, uh, if you're interested, watch those videos. and. Um, and let me know what you think. Uh, and you know, if you think I'm doing things ass backwards, let me know. Uh, but um, but yeah. So so let me show you what I've done. First off, uh, let's go to Plantation Bay City. And there's a couple of things on the agenda for Plantation Bay City. Um, one of which is to let it load. <laughs> um, So, this plantation-based city, the central area, is going to be the, the commercial hub of, of the region, right? So, there was a rather large industrial area here that was mostly manufacturing and mostly dirty industry, actually, and I have scaled it back. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons I've done that, but I scaled it back. And part of the reason for that is that... Uh, I don't want quite as much industry in, in this tile. I'd like to make uh, inner, in the inner bay the industrial hub. So I've scaled it back and I've also built a, a large kind of open space park here to kind of encourage some of this industry to develop more high tech. Uh, so that's, that's done. I have also extended this line out this way and uh, and I and the city is going to expand up here. So uh, let's just go back to the region and take a look at what that looks like. And then I have I have plans for how I want to expand this. So yeah, I've expanded into Rob's River. Uh, the the elevated rail has kind of expanded there. Um, and the and I've built an avenue here, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, I will be loading up Rob's River quickly to show you that as well. Uh, my plan is to take this avenue and make a kind of avenue ring roads around the edge of the city and have it go into Inner Bay. And I wanted to build here because this whole area of Plantation Bay City, let's look at the satellite view. This whole area of Plantation Bay City needs to be developed. And I think there's going to be a lot of commercial office stuff in there and we're going to move these power plants and maybe move them over here or something. Um, and so I wanted to develop this first and kind of see what development was going to look like here before I planned this corner. This corner is going to be pretty important because it's it's got a lot of links between these three large tiles. So yeah, I wanted to kind of structure this first and see what it looks like. Let's just uh, take a look at Rob's River, what it looks like. Now obviously you've got the Rob's River. Last time we were in Rob's River I just built this little town here, this little kind of railroad suburb. Uh, off screen, while you guys weren't watching, I built I built this kind of extension of Plantation Bay City. So 
Uh, what have I done here? Uh, part, part of the reason I'm glad that you, you guys are actually not going to see that is that I, uh, it was agonizing to put in this, this diagonal uh, Victorian viaduct rail station. I love the Victorian viaduct rail station design that comes with the, that comes with the network add-on mod, but it is a bitch to work with. I, I won't lie, it is very, very difficult to work with. I've also got I'm gonna do something about this rail here so that it doesn't, um, so that it does not uh, have all these these level crossings. Uh, I will I will do some work on that. I'm thinking I'm thinking rail viaduct or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll do a bit rail viaduct this episode actually because those are fun. Rail viaducts are fun. Uh, let see, we've got like an underpass here. This actually might turn into a rail viaduct with a level. A level crossing of some kinds. We will see. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, yeah, this avenue here is going to become kind of a ring road. I think that this, I think that this elevated rail is going to uh, zoom over here and make a straight line like this, and then come over here and, and kind of have a terminus, maybe a terminus at this rail station there. Maybe that'll be the end of the of the. Uh, mass transit system for the time being. I'll, I'll make a terminus there, but so you can see, I have kind of increased, um, increased the, or expanded the city this way. And it's going to help us structure the rest of the region. Right. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to head back over to um, Plantation Bay. Sorry for the jumping around and loading screens and everything, but I, I did have to show you guys what I did here. Um, but yeah, we've got two more stations on, on the mass transit network, and this is going to expand. We're going to expand this whole area, and yeah, that'll give you a sense of, of the kind of regional planning that we're doing here. But I think it's time to fill in this, uh, mostly with commercial, and I also want to head over to Inner Bay at some points, maybe this episode and try and, uh, you know, expand there as well. We'll see, maybe I'll leave Inner Bay for now and just focus on these two new tiles. So, uh, yeah, this is the industrial area that I kind of redid. I think I also, I expanded some commercial along, along this area here, adjacent to the mass transit line there. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's take, let's do this, this kind of ring road avenue though. So, uh, first off, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to dezone all this agriculture. It's finally time to kill off the farms we built in, in the very first episode of this Let's Play, and we've just unplugged the entire city. Of course, speaking of unplugging the entire city, we are going to we're going to delete these and move them elsewhere. We've got the money. So, question is, how do I want to do this? Uh, maybe. Oh, we've got trash there. Oh yeah, I've, I've unplugged that. Uh, I've unplugged that that trash from the network, so it should disappear soon. Um, but probably should keep the recycling center plugged in for the time being. Okay, I've got an idea. I think that the avenue is going to run along here. And it's going to be kind of the, it's going to run in behind the university, I guess. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And that's going to connect, connect up to Inner Bay. And then maybe we will do a diagonal like this. going to be kind of this avenue ring road around the edge of the city. What do you think guys? Should we do a roundabout? I haven't done any roundabouts in this city yet. Let's see if I can fit a roundabout in this little corner without demolishing my uh, university. Should be able to. I just might have to move this, uh, what is that, a police station or something? Let's see here. Avenue intersections. Yeah, we need to move this station. I th that was a police station, yeah, okay. And I think the avenue is going to have to go there. Let's just 
demolish that. It'd be kind of cool to have a have a roundabout up here. Now, roundabouts are kind of funny when you try and plug roads into them. Eh, doesn't look so bad. That looks bad. Yeah. I'll play with that off screen. I'm not going to... Uh... It looks good here, I just don't know what's, what's wrong with this one, to be honest. Maybe if I... Maybe if I do this... Does that make it better? No. What if I do this? Ah! Much better. Okay. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Try again! The joys of the network add-on mods. You do have to uh, play around with things, or they look funny. Yeah, I also I was talking a lot in in this the episode the the lost episode. Uh, I was talking a lot about uh, my my impressions of the network add-on mod and and uh, you know one of the things I said is that it's a fantastic mod and it it really adds a lot to the game. But some of the some of the puzzle pieces are very difficult to work with. I really do feel that uh, that in some ways they could be easier. Why don't? What if we did this? Yeah, love it. Awesome. The cool thing about these avenue intersections is that you can put a park in the middle of them. Could also put. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Been holding on to this guy, colossal mayor statue. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Damn. Okay. Uh, do we have one that fits? I think I also like placed a lighthouse and stuff. I can show you where the light lighthouse is. Oh yeah, we don't have the medium-sized one. Okay. Too bad. Uh, I thought we had the the the, the two by two mayor statue kind of sitting in there, but I guess I must have built that. Not a big deal. Medium flower garden. This is cool. I like the roundabout at the corner of the university. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a nice little addition. Now I am going to very cautiously... Can I do this? No. It needs to be a, a road. Okay. That looks okay. Uh, let's... just kind of want to provide road access here. Like this. Okay. I like it. I like it. This is very cool. So that's our that's our kind of regional ring roads. Uh, we're obviously going to need another. We're going to need another kind of level crossing, or not level crossing. Uh, probably in a viaduct of some kinds. I guess we can do one here for sure. Those ones are easy. I like to see, see. I want to make a video. Uh, ch by, check out my tutorial um, if you're interested. But I also want to make a video about like my favorite network add-on mod puzzle pieces, like the ones that I find easy to use and and you know kind of hassle-free. Keep in mind, of course, that I I am not a city designer in this game. I, I I'm fully aware of that. I, I like to you know kind of work on cities and make them look cool and stuff. But overall, I'm much more interested in in the mechanics of the game and uh, you know how they relate to real world cities and stuff. So so yeah, there's that. Uh, I feel like we need one more road kind of going north here. Yeah, I think this is going to be where it goes. This would be a, a good candidate for for a rail viaduct as well. Although it is kind of a freight, it is kind of a freight line that that rail line for the time being. So we'll see. I think that those, uh, I think that the freight rail is going to be kind of converted to to uh, passenger rail over time. I mean, there's already some passenger stations on it, but awesome. What's going on here? Okay, that road just leads to these power plants, so we probably don't need it at this point. Yeah, we can probably delete this. I'm trying to delete it without deleting all the trees. We end up building over the trees anyway, but yeah, no. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're gonna try and uh, 
replace the power plants. I built a nuclear power plant too, which which I, I wasn't uh, wasn't really thinking when I did that. I don't, to be honest, I don't really want a nuclear power plant in this city at the time, for the time being. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Uh, and we're gonna build a big downtown. This is gonna uh, another part of downtown, for sure. Three overpasses is fine for now. So, let's think about the street grids. We built that over there. Maybe that. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna do this, and we'll put, I think, a park here. Sometimes these triangle shapes can make really cool parks. Finally filling out this corner, huh? Pretty cool. That's fine. Kind of extending the grid here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one can go all the way down to the railroad tracks. Mm. I'm going to take this road. I'm just gonna jog it over. yet. Okay, well, let's stop there because we do have to deal with that garbage. Uh, we have got the bones of a very cool looking uh, downtown area here. Uh, we need a cross street. Let's put it here. Okay, we've once again unplugged the city. Oh, that's shitty. Didn't, done an ass backwards job of all that. Well, that's fine. Just so we're going with a square. We're going to go with the square grid in this area. That's fine, actually. I'm. I'm happy with the square grid. This I will do something like, wait a second, we can take this one, cross over like that. I'm fine with that. We need something in here. And I think that's pretty good. That's fine. That's cool. Um, shall we reconnect it to the power grid? I think so. I'm not going to develop the entire grid yet. I'm just going to develop the commercial along the edge. Go straight with high density. Uh, let's put bus stops first. 
Uh, we deleted one here. It's fine, we'll put one there. 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 Definitely at the roundabouts. Be on that side of it. There. And that's good for now. And let's put in dense commercial. Thankfully there's not too much diagonal in this uh, configuration here, just this one little stretch. Definitely need, uh, this will probably build up as, um, this will probably build up as, uh, do I want to make this a park or do I want to build it like this? No, I think that's that's good as it is. I think we'll put some we'll do something like this. These guys. And there. It's kinda cool, it sort of almost blends in with the sidewalk and just makes for this kind of interesting look. Uh we need a we need a streak going through here. Let's expand this like that. And then uh, probably something like this for the time being. And we'll finish this zone. This is kind of cool too because initially we had kind of planned to have our downtown in down near where that port is, right? I'll show you that in a second. I'm just gonna finish doing this for now. Uh, no. This. Initially we had planned to have the downtown area kinda down here, but that's something that happens in cities as well, is, is as cities expand outward, often there's more space uh, in the newly developed areas and, and sort of bigger, bigger downtown type projects. That's where they end up going, right? What happens if we zone all this four tiles? Will any of it build? That's my that's my question. We'll see. Uh, obviously we gotta deal with that. I wanna see if this builds. a mix of four deep and three deep. There are four tile. What's happened here? Oh yeah, I'm this is I'm gonna have to hold off there. Uh, I could just leave the power plants for now. I kind of, I think I want to go next door and uh, and just complete building this. But let's, uh, why don't we? Let's just take a look at police crime. Yeah, we want to build a police station here. Oh yeah, we deleted one. That's why. Fine with that. And maybe one here. Um, no, I'm gonna prioritize this. Uh, well, there's commercial down here as well. Yeah, let's put it here. And I'll build like a tiny one down here. 
starting to sort of cover the entire city. Mostly, anyway. Uh, this stuff here might be residential, it might be more commercial. I think we'll see how uh, the demand evolves as we expand the city. But I, I am liking this, this kind of whole boulevard thing. Hmm, I'm so tempted to make this into a giant central park. You know what? I will. It's got this university beside it. I think it'd be really cool to have a really big park up here. So let's do that. Let's do something... Like this. Oh, and we've also got that uh, big statue, right? Big statue can go here. Mega statue, where is it? The I am an amazing mayor statue. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's put some uh, trees around that. Not too many though. Uh, I don't. Uh, the idea is not to make this like a foresty park. It's more of a big open square. You know. Yeah, I like it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Right. I think I placed a couple things last episode that I do want to show you. I placed a radio station, which whatever, right? Not a big deal. I also, there is a, this here is a water treatment plant because it was, there's a lot of pollution. This water treatment plant kind of covers off this whole area, but we needed another one there because of some of the industry and industries, industry is on its way out in this city, but uh, it, there is still a fair amount. Uh, I don't think there's anything else major that I did, to be honest. Let's let that develop. I know it's a bit weird to have this hole in here, but we'll fill it in soon enough. Uh, I want to reserve some residential demand for uh, for the neighboring areas. So let's go. Just watch that develop. Yeah, see these are not developing. I, they might eventually though. I'll leave them there like that. See if we get some uh, some big buildings. Uh, we're definitely getting more residential demand, which is what I was hoping for. I also built a, one of the large high schools. Um, I built one of the large high schools. Why is this? It should develop. Let's take a look at the desirability. Yeah, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't develop here. Maybe we just need to give it some traffic, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for now. And I'm going to go next. Oh, there we go. There we go. So for the time being, we've, we're actually getting this kind of shopping mall development along this strip. Uh, which is sort of to be expected. It's it still is kind of the it's really mu very much the edge of the city now, but this is a good area to reserve. We may we may want to zone all of this commercial to be honest. We may want to go. Let's go at least one one block deep. And some kind of transit. We'll put some kind of transit in here after for sure. But uh, but yeah, let's start by just sort of zoning a block off of the main boulevard. Sort of within bus stop range. It's going to be a lot, there's, I think there's going to be a lot of traffic uh, in this area. That's pretty, pretty certain. I want to build a residential area near the university, you know, for all those uh, students so they can uh, move in and trash the apartments. Okay, uh, we can do the same thing here. Yeah, I'll just leave the power plants for now. I know they're going to have a, a negative effect, but uh, we will uh, we'll work on that later. Awesome. Uh, here as well. Let's just do this. And that. Right. Okay. I'm fine with that for the time being. Try and use up some of this commercial demand.
Awesome, we actually used it up. It's kind of hard to do that in this game. Right, so the next thing we want to do is get some residential areas going, and rather than expand the residential areas here, I want to expand them in the neighboring, neighboring cities. So, uh, I will finish this ring road. Take a look at transportation view. Yeah, look at that. That's that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And it's going to go really ra around the outside here. That's the idea. Yeah. There will be there will be highways as well, but you can see how I'm kind of going. I'm starting with the rail and then I'm I'm kind of building this wide avenue and then uh, you know, I will I will also work on uh, you know, there'll be a highway ring at some point in this city. So all of you uh, all of you real highway freaks uh, will we'll enjoy that. I think it's going to go really way around the outside though. I'm going to kind of go for a European style where you don't really have a central city highway. Uh, this is going to be one of the central city th thoroughfares, I think. Right. So, uh, Inner Bay. Uh, I'm going to go to Inner Bay and I'm going to... I'm going to run the clock a bit, but I'm also going to... Uh, maybe, maybe do a little bit of residential expansion, but I'm mostly focusing on... Uh, just completing that ring road. Where is it? There it is. Question is, where do we want it over here? Uh, I think maybe kind of up at this level. Because we have this kind of double, yeah. Maybe like up here. Okay, let's do that. Let's just do it. Ooh, we're, we're short on budget in this town, so we gotta be a little bit careful about, yeah, see that's like 10,000. Uh, let's, we're gonna do diagonal here for sure. Should be making money in this city though. Good to me. I'll deal with the rail after. <coughs> when the city gets to this size, I feel like you really have to make decisions about uh, what. Um, you really have to make decisions about you know where you're going with it. Um, you can't just kind of naturally expand out, otherwise you can end up in, you can end up in trouble real fast. Uh, very unstructured development at this point can, can really, uh, change the whole nature of the city. Um, do I want to expand this city? Um, I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to hold off. Let's just run the clock a bit here. I'll build the I'll build the road network next episode here, but that's just it's really just a placeholder to to kind of remind us so we can see yeah we're really gonna have to restructure some of the industry here, but I'm probably gonna build more uh, residential and the residential is gonna gonna increase the demand for um, for some of the dirtier industry mostly um, manufacturing industry I'd like to have a big manufacturing hub here uh, I'm not that interested in having all of this industry be high tech I talked about high tech actually in the video in the in the forever lost video uh, I I you know I recognize that you you want to build high tech industry in this game I, I do I know I'm aware that that is uh, that that is one of you know the best kind of development in a certain sense um, I, it's one of the things I'm, I'm not so keen on in this game. I feel like SimCity 4 is kind of based on a Californian model of city development. And, and I feel like it's, you know, if you look at, if you look at European and American cities, um, well, it's mostly Amer North, you know, American cities, like East Coast American cities. What happens as we got rid of manufacturing industry, it's not like uh, entire industrial areas of cities were just replaced with high-tech industry, right? Uh, a lot of what happened is we just moved dirty manufacturing to China. So what I wish you could do in this game is I wish that 
uh, those old warehouse buildings from the kind of manufacturing and dirty industry would turn into condos and or uh, loft buildings or commercial buildings. I think that would be really, really cool. And I think that's kind of a missed opportunity in this game because just having just having everything be replaced by high tech industry, it, it just it's not realistic. It's not uh, you know high tech industry is a thing. And it's an important part of the the you know modern modern Western economy, but not to the degree that it's portrayed in this game. Uh, not to the degree that it's portrayed in this game. So yeah, that's that's my that's my rant of the day. Um, okay, this this rail this rail needs to veer this way, and I think it's going to go this way. I'm gonna build this first so that uh, we structure the road network around it. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. The city also does not have a lot of money, so I've got to be a little bit careful about how, uh, how quickly I develop this. It's going to like maybe like this, and like this. So we've got a rail station there. Should probably go a little bit further. I'm going to run into the same problem with the diagonal rail as I did building that other station. Yeah, so that's that's the plan there. This this rail line is going to extend outward. Probably put a. Uh, I don't like that for spot for a train station either, though. We'll see. And then it's gonna. Just gonna build it. Uh, just so I know what I'm doing here. It's gonna go like that. And yeah, actually, I guess it'll go more like here. Yeah, we'll put a station there or something. And that'll be the terminus. The terminus of this will be in that uh, in this small town, this sort of small rail suburb. I think that's kind of cool. And yeah, we'll we'll snake over the the residential development's going to follow this. Uh, let's expand it. Let's let's use up our residential demand here. What's our budget looking like? Budget's pretty good. Okay. We're not going to go broke. Mm, no, I need something like here. Okay, well then that's going to be that. Uh, maybe something... No. There. Okay. No, it's a shame. There we go. Maybe I'll do one of my uh, these guys here. Yeah, let's just uh, uh, I think we got another roundabout. I feel a roundabout coming on. Yep. Roundabout for sure. Up here. Right there. Boom. Last time when I put it on the corner there, it worked well. What if I do this? Oh, it's going to make it ugly. 
Oh, I see. Oh, I see what we have to do. That one goes that way, and then we do something like this. Like that. Sweet! Put a station there. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah. Please excuse the mess, I'll try and make this tidier uh, next time. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look at that road network later. I'm not, I'm just not that, to be honest, I'm just not that worried about uh, the road network being as efficient as it possibly can be. What makes more sense, to be honest, is to get rid of this. And one, two, something like this. Can that? Oh, I need a road. Yeah. You get the idea. bus stations down. One here for sure. Tell you what. Let's put it here. And one here. One here. One there. Alright, time to zone. It's gonna be time to think about uh, some beaches at some point. It's been on my list. I got a list of stuff I want to do, you know. Uh, sprinkling the coastline with beaches is definitely on that list. No doubt. sure I don't like run out of power. Do this for now. I could also flatten out some of this terrain here. I may do that at some point. But we'll see. Right. Okay, I'm liking that. Uh, we need. I'm just gonna put a station here. One, two, three, and then there. Elevated bus, uh, elevated rail, bus, and subway station. Yep. Uh, right there. It's probably superfluous bus station. I'll leave it. All right, everything's powered. We need water. Mm, nope. There. Let's 
that's good for now. I'll just zone this. Probably need a cross street. Need a cross street here. Maybe a couple bus stops. Oops, not that. Bus stops. The hotkey for bus stop is like Control Shift R. So <laughs> that is just not useful. I, I I'm sorry, but that is not a. That is that hotkey for me anyway. I, I find it's it's too uh, too complicated to to merit. Uh, like it's not going to speed much up, you know. Uh, it's not going to speed much up for me to to. Uh, use that hotkey, to be honest. Okay. Uh, everything's got water. Uh, I might want to expand the radius of the hospital so that it can cover some of that off. And also the bus funding here. We may have to build another school anyway. Alright, build, build, build. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want that. You can build the uh, that sort of state prison, and it, it, it can be it can end up be like you can make money with your prisons instead of uh, instead of like paying for them, which is kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of building up low density, which is interesting. Now there we go. There we go. I'm going to switch to the New York style of building very soon. Maybe next episode. We've got a lot of this Chicago style. And we're up to 40,000 in this city. We'll get to 50,000 probably. And we have... Oh yeah, we're making tons. We're making cash. We're making bank. We can afford to increase this. We can afford to increase this. Uh, and I think, it's, uh, I think it's probably a good idea to build a high school. I gotta figure out. This rail line does not have any industry along it. Uh, I think it should be. Uh, I think it should be a, an elevated rail line. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that train station and put a train station like here with another uh, with another elevated rail station. I think that could be cool. Anyway, I'm gonna work on that next episode. Just let this build up a bit more. Just increased the patient capacity. Okay, we're good. Look at that. Let's do... I'm gonna put uh, the... I'm gonna do this. Do, do, do. Why not? It's a bit weird, but... Where are my trees? Oh, trees, right. Trees. Let's go with a medium plaza. Small plaza, medium plaza. Cool. It looks a bit weird. I might want to. I might want to change that later, but we'll see. I think all, all in all, considering the kind of weird diagonal nature of this, this has turned into kind of a very interesting, um, a very interesting extension of the city. We are up to 45,000. We have no police in this city, right? Um, let's go low density commercial, rezone some of this, and then I'll fill in some residential, and then we'll call it uh, we'll call it for this episode. Uh, definitely some work on that rail. I might do off screen. 
Um, there's a bus station there. Could be good to have one there, to be honest. On the other side of the uh, on the other side of the rail viaduct. SA zones. There we go. Once again here, not building. There we go. That might not even, that might not build, but we'll see. Um, okay with that. That's quite close to that station. Uh, let's build a road like here, and then like this. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna put a bus station in here. Uh, some of this can be dense because it's right close to the right close to that station there. Let's build diagonal street. Along the edge of the tracks. It's not too ugly. That's fine. I'm fine with that. To densify here. Gonna be a station there for sure. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be some kind of route going this way. Maybe another avenue. Uh, that could be cool. Another avenue going down here, connecting to that downtown area again for sure. Uh, there's also going to be probably some connection between this city and Inner Bay. Although I'm gonna hold off on that because I. Yeah, because it gets a bit weird. Uh, it gets a bit weird sometimes. There'll be some kind of cross-town transit route uh, going there, for sure. So that's exciting things things to come. I'm going to just uh, press play here, let this build up. Oh yeah, we're getting this really cool kind of uh, you know transit hub. Here with all those uh, big residential towers, it's kind of cool when that pops up in the suburb, in the sort of not really suburbs, but the the kind of outside of the downtown core, you get this little concentration of uh, of towers. Obviously, these are this is you know very low income neighborhoods, but time to plop a high school down, fix that very very soon. Probably now, actually. Good to me. I think there might be a private school here somewhere. I'm not sure. I can't remember whether I actually put one down or not. 
Alright, that's good. Probably we'll need to build a bigger high school, to be honest. Or maybe just two of those. Big time traffic problems hit Local Avenue. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Let's take a look at whether they're actually using the transit I provided them. Okay, so a lot of people are taking that avenue. Look at the rail. Passenger rail. Uh, I leave that, left that train station there for now. The train station's going to be moved up here. Makes more sense because it's, it's... Yeah, it makes more sense to have it here. Um, a little deeper in. Because there's only like two stops. Why is this... This is like not working or something. I, I gotta say... I gotta say... Uh, I'm not entirely sure that I have used this puzzle piece properly. Hey. Oh yeah, this is totally just glitched out. That's that's a serious problem. Well, it, it looks like it's working. It's just I can't quarry it. Oh, there we go. No, no, we're good. We're good. Actually, use this. Okay, great. Seven thousand. That's that's what I'm hoping for is to get uh, lots of people using these stations. Twelve thousand. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just take a look at how people are getting around here. Yeah. This is this is good. This is good. So we've got. Uh, yeah. See, so you can see people are actually transferring off the train station and onto that. So I think we can move the train station up there. Uh, the purpose of the train station is for people who want to skip these stations, right? Uh, not, uh, it's not, uh, supposed to be, then I don't, yeah, anyway, you get, you get, you get the gist of what I'm saying. We'll see. We will see. But this is starting to have some structure and some form. Um, I'm going to save this. I'm going to pop out to the regional view and, and we'll take a look at how it's, how it looks on the regional transportation map. We're going to be spending a lot more time on the regional, on the regional view. Um, yeah, I like that. See, I like the kind of structure of this transit network. We're going to have a line here, a line here. This line is going down here. Um, we'll need some kind of crosstown line here for sure. We're going to need some kind of crosstown line here, uh, and and yeah, and maybe we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's starting, the city's starting to have a little bit of structure. Um, we've got residential areas popping up along along here, and the industrial area here. And this is going to be sort of the downtown area. More residential areas here. Probably more residential areas here as well. Kind of use those lines there. Yeah, it's starting to starting to have some some very cool structure. We'll be expanding here as well soon. Uh, anyway. Uh, do check out that tutorial video if you're interested. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Ciao.